Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Um, I wanted to give a quick update on the Sky Rizzy. Um, I, my Humera slash Sky Rizzy nurse um, was here on Friday and we discussed a lot of the medication. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I wanted to um, just uh, clarify something that Sky Rizzy right now is in trials for. Crohn's disease and RA, um, but right now it has been passed for uh, severe um, scalp psoriasis. So that's why we're doing it. So hopefully maybe people that have the Crohn's disease that maybe, you know, the Humira is not working so well, um, you know, maybe Skyrizzy, um, once the FDA approves that it's for that, we'll get to that. Um, as you can see today, I have a ton of hair um, and I wanted to show I have these plaques that are really drying up, um, but they're like, I keep scratching. I keep scratching. I, I, my nails are down to nothing. I wanted to just show you guys, and I don't know if you can see this, but I just took a picture because I wanted to put my Taclinex on. Um, you really can't see, I can't use my hands. Oh my God. So... They're really small, but I'm like bald in those areas um, <laughs> because of the picking and everything. And, and it's just, it's so scratching and itching. Um, and like, you really can't see, but in those areas, I'm like bald. It's crazy. Thank God I have a lot of hair. <laughs> um, and then here, it's kind of in the back and you can't really tell, but they're red and they weep. Um, when I scratch so I'm actually going to take the buzzer today and buzz probably a new undercut um, just down in here I think so the medication because there's some down the bottom um, that I really need to get that Taclinex onto um, the other update is I just got back from the doctor I swear to god I'm like an 85 year old person um, like a sickly 85 year old person who, and I feel like a hypochondriac sometimes, <clears throat> but I know that this is my body doing it to me. I've started to come up with some respiratory symptoms. I had stopped taking my Zyrtec and Flonase, um, probably about a week before the Sky Rizzy because I was feeling great. Um, I didn't have that head full of, you know, like I felt like my head was in a balloon and um, I was coughing and my eyes were watering and my head, my, my nose just ran for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, so I had stopped taking the Flonase and the Zyrtec. I had saw the doctor this morning for a couple reasons. I have started again with a respiratory thing um, where I'm wheezing if I'm outside with the dog. Um, so she did it a little inhaler before I, when I used to run, I had an inhaler for some of those, um, like they diagnosed with an asthma, but it was only flared up like during weather and when I was running. Um, so I'll get a new inhaler when CVS calls me. I also, I have a history um, of styes um, to the point where they become chalazins. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but the styes actually get very, very hard. And even with warm compresses, it's like they won't come to a head. So this luckily is just a sty that's starting. I'm gonna do warm compresses, um, but in the past, my eye usually swells up. So I'm hoping this won't do that. I'm like I said, I just wanted her to take a look at it because I know what's gonna happen. And I know when I get sick, outbreaks happen with psoriasis. So I am just like uh, trying to just be good and, and rest and, um, and go from there. But I wanted to take a quick little break, do a video. Um, so the, I wanted to get back to the chalazins. Chalazins are, like I said, the styes get really hard and they swell. And I've had to have um, injections of, not ketamine, Kenalog, um, into my eyelids um, to the point where one year it looked like I had constant purple eyeshadow on. I looked like a great 80s girl because it scarred after getting the Kenalog and it bruised. So um, I'm hoping it doesn't get to that point and I'm just gonna keep doing warm compresses. Again, it starts off, you can just see the redness there, but um, I'm gonna go wash my hands after this. But um, so that's the couple things. Um, oh, also on the Sky Rizzy, um, I'm going to wait when I do it at the um, 
so I did it last Wednesday. So I have three more weeks before I do it again. I'm gonna let it sit out on the counter for like 45 to 50 minutes. Um, my nurse did text me after she left the house because I told her, I'm like, it burned and I had left it out for 30 minutes. Um, sorry, I left it out for 30 minutes, but it still burned. Um, so she had she was going to a patient's house after me to do teaching on their first Sky Rizzi, and they actually like sat at the counter and just let it out for like 45 minutes and this patient did not have any burning or pain when she did the injection um, so that could have been a freak thing it could have been that I just didn't leave it out long enough um, so I'm gonna leave it out for a good 45 minutes for the next time and see if it stings again when I take it <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, and we'll go from there. I'll do an, another update. I see her again for lab work and stuff. Um, so I have an appointment with her on July 3rd. Um, so that, and that's just a follow up from like when I had my physical, when, you know, it was everywhere. Um, and so it's really um, cleared up a lot. Even she was just, you know, it, it looks good. Um, so I think that's it. And, um, you know, any questions or concerns or um, I know a lot, I know that Sky Rizzi just was approved. So I know there's not a lot of people on it. Um, it is made by the same company as Humera. It's AbbVie. Um, and I'm telling you, every nurse that works there is amazing. <laughs> They're so good. Um, the pharmacist, if you had any questions, I had, I had actually spoken to the pharmacist at um, pharmacy solutions um, when I started to get the allergy symptoms and stuff um, and they always ask you you know to talk to your derm so today I saw my primary it was easier she got me right in I needed that inhaler I didn't think derm needed to, to do that but I will let them know um, that they already know when I did the injection that it burned and I got the flush and everything else but I will let them know that that allergy symptoms she doesn't think it's bronchitis or anything yet but we're going to monitor that and i'll see her again in a week um and we'll go from there so thank you so much for watching as always and um i'll have some updates maybe next week and i hope every do everybody's doing well and just keep i always i fight the fight you guys um to keep a diary of what's going on um like i said i've seen so much of a clear up everywhere else um even the ones on my hand the one on the back of my thighs um my knees my feet my elbows are completely clear my back um it's just right now the scalp and this well the one on the back of my thigh that's kind of near my buttock is just it's it's getting there still it's not as painful but drying 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 so um, maybe when I do the the next update for the injections I will be clear and <coughs> not have any allergy effects so I'm gonna start my Zyrtec I'm gonna start my Flonase again today um, I'm gonna do warm compresses on my eye I've already put Taclinex on my scalp I'm gonna use the Enstelar on the one on the back of my uh, thigh buttock and um, I'm not gonna put any product in my hair except for gross psoriasis stuff okay and I'm gonna go do a little buzz for myself so um, we will see you soon and thank you again for watching have a great great day